Yeah, right, right. I'll let you know, Ronnie. But we'll probably do this. Testing one, two, three.
Testing, one, two, three, testing. Hey, Joe, do you have a tool that can cut? Lancaster, welcome back to L28 Sports. I'm Tiffany Johnson, your sideline commentator for tonight, and I'm so excited to be back at one of my stomping grounds, Desert Christian. I attended here at elementary school, and it's good to see that these young individuals are still prospering. Today's game is between Desert Christian, who is 1 and 12, and Lancaster Baptist, who is 3 and 8. Some special hits of tonight. There are some familiar faces with Lancaster Baptist that have crossed over from football with Ethan Cox, Michael Averback, Marcus De Polarosa, and most importantly, number 20, Sammy Flores, who is the team leader for Lancaster Baptist football in receiving yards and rushing yards per game and total number of touchdowns. For the Knights, they still need to find a little bit of their flow. They've played more games than Lancaster Baptist, but they're having a hard time, and I think that's accredited to the fact that that their roster is pretty small. They only have a nine-man roster compared to Lancaster Baptist, who has a 13-man roster. I know that's a small gap, but when it comes to momentum, stability, and being able to persevere through four quarters, you need every man possible. I'm really hoping that these young men pull through and find their flow at they, as they are here at home tonight. Sending it over to Ronnie. in our first half and we're going back to when we began October, November, December with football and then started a basketball program with you and then interrupted by of course the Christmas break and then of course New Year's and we wish you all a happy New Year's out there but now we're ready to start begin the so-called second season of basketball and we got a good one for you tonight as Lancaster Baptist the Eagles now infiltrate invade Desert Christian the Baptist Eagles versus the Knights of Desert Christian. However, when you look at their records, you would say, well, uh, not so hot. Lancaster Baptist at three and eight, running a three game losing streak, but even worse for Desert Christian, only one and 11 so far this year. They don't have a win in conference and they've lost seven straight. But always when we find out with these teams at the bottom of the heap, bottom of the league standings, they play competitively, they put their heart into it, and we're looking for a great ball game. For Lancaster Baptist, it's John Leo, Austin Yarborough, Ethan Cox, Sammy Flores, and Michael Averbeck. As for the Knights of Desert Christian, their leading scorer and uh, the heart of the team, JB, Josiah Berrigan, then Brandon Knott, Andrew Silva, John Helton, Austin Ashley, Adam Goodale, Jared Orso, Jacob Schroeder, and Brenton Edwards. You might remember him from our football broadcast that we just mentioned a moment ago. Well, Brenton, his mom, is the athletic director here, Mrs. Edwards. So we're ready to go. The white-clad squad, of course, heading now onto the floor along against Lancaster Baptist, adorned in their blue uniform. The home uniform, of course, being Desert Christian. The Knights and the Eagles, glad you're with us on a live broadcast on L28. And don't forget, we're around the world on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, congratulations to Tiffany. Boy, she got engaged on the break. We talked about we took a Christmas and New Year's break. She really had one and a super surprise. And congratulations to her and doing yeoman's work because she's right now back here on the sidelines ready to bring you the live reports during this broadcast. So again, Leo Yarborough, Cox, Flores, Averbeck for the Lancaster Baptist Eagles, known affectionately as LB. And of course, Desert Christian. Desert Christian in this gymnasium that came around around, I would say, the 1980s. A former YMCA facility. They build them well. 
and it's a band box like this lady and by the way we just had a fantastic game just concluded a few moments ago with the girls and it turned out to be 33 to 30 desert christian ended up with the victory and here we are with the tip off and we are off and running so glad you're with us and with it of course desert christian the one that's having all the problems up the middle it's going to be josiah bear again and he ran with the basketball so the first turnover assessed just like that just in moments here on the network going now right to left into the house in time loan sammy flores you may remember his name remember from the football broadcast sammy's out there right now in the basketball realm two bounce dribble doesn't want it up top john leo leo's got the basketball right now just as quickly back over sammy flores and here's the pull-up shot it's an air ball that time on the part of michael Avery, back number 22. just starting things off here in the first period here's a pull-up shot it's about 10 feet away and it rimmed the front of the basket only a nine footer all right lancaster baptist in the corner leo three-point country off the mark the putback is good off the glass Nice job that time to get the basket and break the ice. The first point to the ball game. Stolen, though, just like that. Taken by Lancaster Baptist. Here's the shot underneath. No. And coming back just as quickly, Desert Christian, the Knights. They're the ones with the two-point lead. The baseball score right now. Launches a tray. Three-point country good. Nice job that time. That's Adam Goodale, the 5'8", 150-pound sophomore. 6.37 to go here in the first. Again, the baseball score continues. 3-2 it is after that tray a moment ago. Shot missed, grabbed, and then stolen back the act of thievery. Great job for Sammy Flores, the peripatetic one. He's everywhere. Keep an eye on him. Now his feet were beyond the arc. No, they say his feet. No, it was a three-pointer. Notice the designation from the officials, the zebras, the two arms in the air. You would call that a touchdown designation in football. Here it's three-point country. And just like that, six to four it is. Bounce pass, working around. Sammy's got it. Two bounce dribble. Leo wants the shot. Launches it from three-point country. No good. And a player down there on his ball. And a whistle on the floor. Happy New Year, everybody. We missed our great audience out there in the L28 lane. We're right back to work, and we've got another ball game coming up just as quickly next Tuesday. Lancaster and Canoga Park as we resume this schedule. Now, ball deflected, then grabbed by Leo, and Leo loses the handle. The mustard came off the hot dog that time, no doubt, with 5.49 to go. And again, Desert Christian, the home squad here, they're up 6-4. to four. A press being applied, and it's a tight one, trying to get past the timeline. They do. They only have eight seconds to do it. Just made it. And now here's the pass over on the far sideline. That was intended that time for Jacob Schroeder. Lost the handle, but it was knocked away. Last one to touch it was an eagle. Eagles and knights, natural predatory enemies. Well, maybe that's a stretch, but they're going at it right now. Longtime rivals hounding him from behind. Instead, Schroeder, Schroeder wants a shot. He may have traveled. He did travel. The bunny hop and the turnover, their second one of the ball game. It remains six to four. And they'll come the long way now, the 75 by 50 hunk of wood working in this, an east-west configuration at the gymnasium on the campus of, of Desert Christian. Up top it is, Flores has it. Two-bounce dribble on the hardwood. The kick over right side. He had an open look. It did not fall that time for Michael Averbeck. And before we get any further, we have a whistle on the floor. Speaking of, of course, the talented Tammy, Sammy Flores, he suffered a concussion. He was out on one of our broadcasts when we were covering Lancaster Baptist football, and uh, he went down with a concussion. He's A-OK. -okay. He's averaging 20 points a game in the last five as we've got a timeout on the floor. Six to four right now for the home squad, Desert Christian. We'll be right back. You're watching, of course, L-28.
And welcome back to live action, everyone. 5.07 to go and swiftly moving. First period, Ronnie Walton. Your game broadcaster hit high in the air. Volleyball style grabbed instead underneath. Lancaster Baptist rejected from behind. Jacob Schroeder, where did he come from? The six foot, 180 pound senior. He seems to have a sense to where the basketball is. Great basketball IQ on the part of Jacob. Inbounds pass off the leg that time of number 25. And they'll work it out one more time. That being Brenton Edwards, tall, angular young man, another one of the football players. And his mom near us right now, the talented athletic director here at, again, Desert Christian, Rachel Edwards. He wants the three-pointer. It's an air ball that time from Leo. And grabbed that time, in fact, by one of the white-clad Desert Christian as it turned out to be an out of bounds and it will be Desert Christian basketball. Desert Christian, 0 and 7 in the Heritage, headed by Carlos Johnson. As for Lancaster Baptist, not much better, 1 and 7 in the Heritage. As we noted, both these teams are fighting losing streaks and we can do our prognostication, look at our crystal ball, and we can tell you one of these two teams is going to break a losing streak tonight. Which one we'll find out. Okay, Brenton has it in the front court. He's going to pull up. He wants the shot. That one, a three-pointer. No, not that time. Back they come the other way. It's Sammy with the great speed and scoops it up and in. Yeah, Sammy takes off like a rocket, and we found that in the football realm. His great ability, again, just to take off with the afterburners. Now, six to six. We're deadlocked right now with 421 to go here in the first period. If you joined us late, it's Desert Christian here at home versus Lancaster Baptist. Ball knocked out of bounds, so it'll go back over this time to the Eagles. Eagles in blue. Desert Christian in white. Sammy taking his dear sweet time about it. Doesn't love the shot. Instead gives off just as quickly to Artano. Then on the right side, here is a three-point shot attempt. No. Rebound underneath. Some pushing off there. And the basketball is going to go back over to Desert Christian, the pushing off foul. Remember, and we try to remind you about the new rules in the United States of America in terms of high school basketball. Five team fouls. You're going to the free throw line for automatic two free throws. Good night, goodbye, sayonara to the one and one. Oh, he's caught up that time, stolen, act of thievery, long lead pass, though, thrown out of bounds. Great job tying up the eagle that time, but the long lead pass over the head of Sammy Flores, and it's going to go back this time over the night. So a probing, tough Lancaster defense. They're headed by Eric Lee. Okay, working right side, pump fake no, reverse no, and here comes down the rebound to Lancaster Baptist. They've got the basketball. They're in the front court. That's Silva with it. We'll check that. Number 11, Hartano, pardon me, and Hartano lost it as he fed underneath to Justin Yarborough, but unfortunately Yarborough went down in a heap, and it's going to go back to Desert Christian. Both these teams enthusiastic, both these teams laying it on the floor, and one thing Desert Christian, led by first-year coach Carlos Johnson, says, we're a young team, we're not experienced, new players, but we've got great enthusiasm. 322 to go here, 6-6 six, six tie, the baseline shot hits the side of the backboard, ignominiously. As it comes down right now, they come back the other way, Sammy in control, the field general, like a mini General George Patton out there, working it around, nice four-corner offense, then underneath, Sammy's got it. Then kicks just as quickly over to Austin Yarborough, who puts up a shot, but fouled. And we'll see if Austin's going to get free throws or not. So as we noted, the five key fouls right now, three assessed on Desert Christian, two on the home squad. Check that, Desert Christian with three, Lancaster with two visitors. And Lancaster Baptist will be taken out right now, doing honors just left of the goal. Up top, Flores, did he want it? Dribble drive, splits the middle, the leaping Lena from seven feet, no good. 
251 it is. Adam Goodale. He had a tray earlier, but had it again taken away. And again, he seems to be everywhere. Sammy Flores. Yeah, Eric Lee, we had a lot of fun again spending time with him, and he filled in on one of our broadcasts, and he was outstanding, exemplary. Really enjoyed meeting his wife, Saskilia, and the good folks over there, Lancaster Baptist. The same communal feeling we have here, again, with Rachel Edwards, the AD of Desert Christian, and now we got to meet Carlos Johnson. Their head coach, he's been all over the world playing basketball. Yeah, that one looked like it was partially blocked, but it wasn't. Grabbed in midair, and then another fight for the basketball ensues. And that one, jump ball, and on the alternating possession, they're going to give it to Lancaster Baptist. Here at this, the 239 mark of the first quarter. A flat-footed six all time. That's right. Coach Johnson played for the Panamanian team, a junior team, and El Salvador, also for Costa Rica. Nice scoop shot, Sammy Flores. I've got Sammy with six unofficial in this ballgame to lead all scorers. Now, this time, dishes on the left side to Jared Orso and a whistle away from the basketball. Yeah, a lot of experience for Carlos Johnson. And Joe, our talented cameraman that's right here, plays in a city league, and they've got a big playoff coming up on Sunday but he's played in local leagues with Coach Johnson. Did you know he also played for West Coast Baptist College? A free throw no good that time on the part number three, Josh Berrigan, Josiah Berrigan. Yeah, he, it, it's absolutely true. West Coast Baptist College where Lancaster Baptist High School and is located. That's right. Okay, here's the runner, no good, in and out. It rolled around like the roller drum action and go out of bounds and the Lancaster Baptist will get it back. One year in 2011, Coach Johnson of Desert Christian led them to the national tournament, West Coast Baptist College. Averaging 16 a game and nine and a half rebounds. What a player. Here it is. Is that a two, just a two pointer? They'll take it. Nice shot that time. Make it now a 10 to six ball game with the visitors Desert Christian leading. Ball knocked out of bounds and another turnover so it's going to go back over to Lancaster Baptist. As they'll be heading towards the western goal and right now Lancaster Baptist up by four, ten to six. Yeah, Carlos Johnson also had a record 28 rebounds in one game for West Coast Baptist. So he feels a communal type of tie-in with Lancaster Baptist High School, even though he's coaching the other guys tonight. Here's the pull-up shot. That's an 18-footer up high. No, great carom underneath. He fought for the rebound and got it that time, Ethan Cox. And now here's the shot underneath. That's going to be Adam Goodyear. Actually, Austin Ashley, pardon me, my bad. Austin got the great rebound and then found Goodale on the break. And now, right now, Adam Goodale at midcourt trying to walk off maybe a minor foot or ankle injury, but he's a-okay. He, he's going to be the trooper he is out there. Here's the pull-up shot nonetheless. It's a 12-footer, and that one was missed on the part of Desert Christian. Number 22 with right now, Mike Averbeck. Finds the big guy underneath, Austin. Austin didn't want the shot. Back over to Sammy. Perimeter right, through the legs, back and forth like a windshield wiper. And then here's the shot is good! Boy, I hope we got that on the highlight reel. Joe, that was something, wasn't it? Through the legs, back and forth, windshield wiper action, and then scooped it up and in, making it 12 to six, by the way. What an exciting player. Amazing. Joe, who's very solid. He's one of the anchormen on 28, solid as a rock. Even he got excited from that shot. Here's the free throw as he was fouled. They're out of fouls. That was a 15 foul, and with 104 to go, it's free throws here on in for the visitors from Lancaster Baptist. Or should I say for Desert Christian, five team fouls. Remember, automatic two free throws just like that. Okay, on the wing. 
One bounce, doesn't want it. Feeds instead number five, Austin Yarborough, and he ran with the basketball. 52 seconds to go in the first quarter. 12 to seven, Lancaster Baptist. They steal the basketball. Somebody call out the sheriff's department and act of thievery. Here's the three-point shot attempt. That one won't be there that time for Lancaster Baptist. Back they come the other way. That's Andrew Silva. Silva finds Austin Ashley. Just the first look at him and then feeds just as quickly to Jared Orso. Jared goes down hard after missing the shot. He's a big guy and we felt it up here, but answering back in the affirmative with a beautiful lay in that time with number 23, Adam Goodday. He's an important spark plug on this desert Christian team. Yeah, Orso is 5'9", 220. It was like six on the Richter scale when he went down on his gluteus maximus, if you know what I mean. Now kick over right side, open look, three point country, air ball, put back underneath and the buzzer sounds. That's the end of the first quarter. An exciting one, wouldn't you say? And right now as we head into the second period, it's the visitors from Lancaster Baptist with the nebulous three point lead, 12 to nine. We'll be back. You're watching, of course, exciting sports action on L28. We'll be right back. What? Oh, it went down to Tiffany. I should have introduced. Before we go on with this boys game, I have to give a shout out to my ladies. Right before this game started, the girls played against each other with Lancaster Baptist and Desert Christian. And I have to say, they set the tone. It was a tight game back and forth throughout the entire setup. The boys teams, it was so great to see them cheering them on on the sidelines, putting in the TikTok dances and letting them know they're cheering them and supporting them. And at the end, with only seven seconds left on the clock, the Knights shot a successful two to win the game 37 to 35. I hope these young men are just as excited as these young girls were. Back to you, Ronnie. All right, thank you, Tiffany. Great to have you back. Boy, did she have an exciting break. Went to Europe, then found herself in Hawaii, and uh, her significant other popped the question. Yeah, with the sun setting near Mauna Loa. Wow, what a scene. That would have been great to put on L28, I'll tell you something. That, But uh, congratulations to her, and, and even more outstanding is that she's here back to work tonight thank you so much 12 to 9 it is the visitors again Lancaster Baptist have the three-point lead both teams playing very hard here in this first half or now known in the high school realm the second quarter starting up and here's an inbound pass hit very hard that time no doubt number 11 Ethan Hartana and he hits you at six foot, 160 pounder, and he is built like a condominium. He's really built. So as a result, you may be jarred for a moment, but you'll feel it tomorrow morning. The resumption of our L28 broadcast, football and basketball in 2023, and the new year starts with the resumption of basketball action. Thank you very much, here's the shot, no good. Brandon not grabs it for Desert Christian, and then underneath, they fight for it, and they say he ran with the basketball. There could be a bit of contention or saying, hey, wait a minute. He didn't really have possession of the basketball, but he did, and a quick catch and shoot, Averbeck, and that is off the mark. 7.35 remaining here in this, the second quarter. 12 to nine it is. That's Wyatt Langley, he's another one of the football players. Back over Sammy, terminate the dribble. The shot on the right side is good. The toughest shot in basketball, of course, the baseline shot. You don't have the backboard for perspective. Nice job that time, Michael Averbeck, fighting for the ball on the floor. Oh, they're exchanging words, and there's no doubt, both of them, with teams that are really at the bottom of the Heritage League, playing with emotion like it's a playoff game. Michael Averbeck, 
grabbing for the basketball, pushed off against the Lancaster Baptist player or against the Desert Christian player. They're both on the floor at the same time. And they're going to call a technical. Two shots coming in a technical right now. As they sort it out and have a little bit of discussion, there's Eric Lee, head coach of Lancaster Baptist. And they're trying to find out what exactly happened between, again, Averbeck and number 23, Adam Goodale. It was Goodale down there on the floor on his wallet, pushing away at the basketball, but somehow he got a little bit of the Lancaster player, and it looks like that's Ethan Hartano. Ethan Hartanto versus Adam Goodale. And so, headed to the charity stripe is Ethan, the six foot, 160 pound senior. 14 and nine right now, the largest lead of the ball game for Lancaster Baptist. And here's the free throw, it's good from Ethan. Got a good rhythm out there. Second one though, not quite there. And one of two making it 14 to 10 and putting Desert Christian in double figures now at the 7-12 mark of this, the second period. Taken out just right of our broadcast position over here. That's Adam Goodale. Very emotional young man. He got into it and as a result, Turned out the infraction, the technicals called against Lancaster Baptist and they had to pay with a point, a single point, one of two. And now the official going to confer with the scorer right now. With 7-10 to go, 14-10, to 10, Lancaster Baptist. Eric Lee in charge. Young man, the native Oklahoman. A big fan of the Sooners, why he grew up in Norman. He's also very involved in the Lancaster Baptist scene. Remember, they've got West Coast College there too. And a preschool. Shot no good that time on the runner. And Lancaster Baptist has the basketball. They're the ones right now with the four point lead. Taking it underneath, that's number five, Yarborough. And Yarborough kicked the basketball away, but not before we have a whistle on the floor. So we start off with a fresh, again, amount of team fouls as it resets every period. In the old days, those, again, fouls would carry over in a cumulative amount for the penalty situation. And underneath, nice job that time on the part number 22, Michael Averbeck, able to score and open up the Lancaster Baptist lead to 16 to 10. Another fight for the basketball ensuing on the floor right now on his wallet. A Desert Christian player, number three, Josiah Berrigan, who his head coach, Carlos Johnson, says... There's no doubt he's willing to serve. He is a definitely a hard worker on this team. And that was exemplified by him, again, being on the deck that time. 634 remaining, six point lead, Lancaster Baptist. Shot way off the mark. So one thing in terms of three point proficiency, we've only seen two trays in this ball game and a plethora of misses. Now tries to take a three point shot. It's rejected over there, loose ball. And now again, both teams again squaring off against one another and it's up to the officials to make sure it doesn't get any more heated than that. Feeling the emotion out there, no doubt. Both these teams would like to break their losing streaks. In fact, Desert Christian has yet to win in the Heritage, they're 0-7. Lancaster Baptist only 1-7 in the Heritage. By the way, if you're interested, St. Monica, they're 13-5 leading the way and Valley Tora with a 10 and five mark. Now back to live action, open look, three point country, and that one high in the air volleyball style on the part of John Leo, and pushing off underneath the officials, feel they have to be very involved in this ball game before, again, it gets too emotional. Basketball back right now over to Desert Christian. Good deal, they try to tie him up, mug him, Flores that time and John Leo. Somebody call out again the LA County Sheriff's Department. A mugging incident there at midcourt. 6.09 to go and it remains a six point lead 
for Lancaster Baptist. Ronnie Wald on a broadcast solo bit. High above this, the southern sideline. Desert Christian formed in the 70s. In about 88, they started athletic teams. And sometime in the 90s, acquired this YMCA property. And the YMCA gyms, they're solid as a rock. And with the basketball right side, Brenton Edwards and Brenton dribbled a bit. And let's see who's going to end up with it. No, nope. Desert Christian will get it back. The infraction called on Lancaster Baptist. If you're just joining us, Lancaster Baptist adorned in that good looking blue uniform with the tan and white trim, white lettering, and a completely white, le white uniform with the blue lettering. Of course, the Knights of Desert Christian, and it's Brenton Edwards right now. As we said, 6'290 pounder from Lancaster, free throw, no good. He plays football, you better believe it. Multi-sport talent in Brenton Edwards. Good rotation on that one, and good touch for a big man. He gets one of two, 16 to 11 it is. Five point bulge right now for Lancaster Baptist, who's got the basketball. That one, perimeter left. It's gonna be Leo, the runner is good. Great touch, it's never easy. Again, to terminate the dribble, again, flat-footed, and then have the presence of mind to know the distance on the shot. Leo accomplished all that. Now it's gonna be a backcourt violation as it got went through the buttery fingers that time of Desert Christian's own number three, jo Josiah Berrigan. And we've got a timeout on the floor. We're going to break as well. Opened up the biggest lead of the ball game. It's a seven-point lead right now for Lancaster Baptist, 18 to 11. We'll be right back. Five thirty-nine to go, everybody, and this the second quarter, eighteen to eleven, Lancaster Baptist. Lancaster Baptist, their last win was against Desert Christian. They played just a couple weeks ago, and Lancaster Baptist lost Tuesday night, eighty to thirty-nine, to St. Monica. In the corner, they've got the shot, and the shot's no good. Boy, we've had a lot of missed trays, but underneath, great job crashing the boards. Missed shot, John Leo underneath. Down to the 521 mark, second quarter, 18 to 11. The scoop is good! Not a scoop at the nearby, again, 31 flavors ice cream. This was pure basketball all the way. He handled the rock, 18 to 13 it is. Leo again, he's feeling it, but that shot woefully short. Before he was able to set his feet and calculate the shot. That time, not so hot. Five point lead in the front court. He may have traveled. He most definitely did travel. Number 13, John Helton just saw him for the first time. Now we're inside five minutes, 4.51 to be exact. 18 to 13, within striking distance. Oh, an open man underneath. Give the assist that time to Sammy, and laying it up and in was Austin Bach. You've heard of Beethoven, that was Austin Bach. And he made some sweet music then, as this time, whistle on the floor. Just like that, we've already reached the 15 foul. So as a result, automatic two free throws. I'm gonna miss the one and one free throw, I tell you that. It was a great incentive up there, right, Joe? Joe's with me on that. But I talked to coaches, they say they feel the high school game is going along quicker, more swimmingly, because of the changes in terms of the bonus situation as the free throw is good this time from Joshua 
Josiah Barrick. I couldn't get his name right. I got it. JB. Oh, he got it right. Laying it up and in on the putback. Jacob Schroeder. What great positioning that time for Jacob. And now, just like that, 20 to 16 within four. Now Lancaster Baptist comes back. The shot, no. John Leo's got the carom. John finds a player in the corner. That's Bach again. Bach over to Sammy. And they're going to reset the clock right there. Sammy Floor suffering that football concussion, but he's better than ever. There's always a concern on the football level concerning concussions for high schoolers. And we're just glad to see him out there and doing doing very well. Thank you very much. He's averaging himself 20 points a game and a loss to Vasquez the other day. Or should I say to St. Monica, he did have 19 points on Tuesday night. Down low, pounding it right there. Oh, Yarborough losing the handle. And making the designation as if he was the official was number 35, Jacob Schroeder, that he ran with the basketball, but the official said no way. But the Eagles will have possession here with, again, just a four-point lead. They had a seven-point lead a moment ago. Playing tough at home here is Desert Christian. Wants the shot, three-pointer. That one won't be there that time. Rebound loose, great offensive carom. A fresh 35 on the timer, Flores. And now stolen, the act of thievery again, taking his Schroeder, coast to coast. Oh, and laid on the rim. A very much unforgiving rim that time would not allow it to fall through the cylinder. Where is Mr. Galileo and the gravitational forces? Hey, Eric Lee, he taught physics. He taught chemistry in his time. And he's trying to work out, again, all that great knowledge he has as the head basketball coach right now of Lancaster Baptist. They've got the basketball. That's Leo Country. Good! John Leo, the six foot one, 170 pound sophomore, opened up the lead now back to five, 23, 18, and an offensive violation called that time on the Knights. Desert Christian dearly would love to win. Again, they're one in 11, but they're 0 and six at home, the indignity of it all. Right now they find themselves down by five with 3.12 to go. That's the runner, no good. Grabbed in the corner, Schroeder's got it. Long lead path, no, he's gonna hold on to it and then bring it in the front court, passing the timeline into the so-called attacking zone. Number 10, Brandon Knott ran with the basketball. K-N-O-T-T, -T, like Knott's Berry Farm. And he ran with it, not not the 5'8", 150-pound senior, as they give it back over to Lancaster Baptist here. Inside three minutes to go. Bounce pass underneath. It's a reverse. No. He had great positioning. He should have finished. I'm talking about Ethan Cox of Lancaster Baptist. Back he comes the other way. There was bodily contact, but no call from the official. Number 35 fighting for it. Again, J.S. Jacob Schroeder. And a whistle on the floor. 2.43 remaining here. Look forward to, again, Tiffany's reports at the half. Two forty-three, as I noted, twenty-three to eighteen, five-point lead. What's that, Joe? Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Carlos Johnson, as the free throw is good, and pulls right now. Desert Christian within four, twenty-three, nineteen. What a resume! Not only one of the greatest players ever at West Coast College the site of where Lancaster Baptist High School is, but of course, he's played all over the world. It's been really something. And he's the head coach right now of Desert Christian, and Tiffany will be talking to him at the half. Free throw good, 23-20. Got a barn burner going on here tonight. Teams that don't have a great record, but they're playing with heart, the heart of the lion. Underneath, it's the scoop. The scoop goes in. It hung on a very forgiving rim that time. It just took two or three bounces. 
you know how the rims are at the county fair, the small rims. You try to win the stuffed animal, and it bounces and bounces, but never seems to go through. It seemed like that was going on that time for Sammy Flores. He was fouled, and a chance to consummate the three-point play. No. I've got Sammy in the game with AD. Oh, he got back the rebound. His hands are everywhere. But stealing it back, Adam Goodale, this time of the night. Dribbles deep, wants the shot. Offensive violation called on the Knights. They're down by five right now, 217 remaining. Valley Tora, the power in the Heritage League, but basket, they're much improved. Sitting at the bottom, unfortunately, these two teams, Lancaster Baptist and Desert Christian. In the corner, Leo. And there's a foul on the floor called against Lancaster Baptist. Both teams are out of fouls. 2.05 to go, free throws here on in to conclude things here in the second period. 25-20, Lancaster Baptist. In the corner it comes. He's a strong young man, Brandon Knott, but he throws it away into the waiting hands of John Leo. Leo doesn't want it. Says, I'm going to share the basketball. Flores, three-point country, good! The altruism out there. Leo could have taken the shot. And again, share it with his good buddy, Flores. Ball loose on the floor. They're on top of one another. They're hounding each other. And you can see that young man, again, playing with a lot of emotion. Adam Goodday. Nothing wrong with well-placed emotion. One that's going to be utilized to help your team win. But if you're using a lot of energy out there, spending it, maybe needlessly, it's great to inspire the troops, but it's also wearing you down. Adam Goodale carries a lot of emotion with him. Okay, in the corner it comes. What I love is the emotion's still there, even though the team's really suffering and struggling, and that says a lot about that young man. Anyway, the shot was missed, and the basketball back over was right now. And Mr. Goodale with it as he passes the timeline. 124 to go. They're hounding him again. They're trying to get inside his shirt, trying to bug him. Well, didn't work. Almost stolen, however, by John Leo. Again, the Eagles. He's down there on the deck. And a whistle on the floor. The officials feel their imprimatur, their proviso, is to be very involved in this extremely emotional, aggressive basketball game. It's not even a playoff. As the shot is missed, grabbed in the corner. They've got it the Knights. They attempt a couple trades, miss both of them. Here with 107 to go here in this the second quarter. Eight-point lead for Lancaster Baptist. Looking for more. Here's the three-pointer. Bounces in. We talked about the unforgiving rim on the other side of the court. What about this very much forgiving? Rim on the southern end. Well, it bounced in. The tray was there. They have now their largest lead of the ball game. It's 11 point ball right now, 31 to 20. Yeah, the legendary Carlos Johnson, Tiffany's guest at the half. Hey, he just took over a month before the season. He knows his team's inexperienced. He's got some players out there who never played basketball before. He's not ashamed of hard work, he says. Transitioning to coaching is a learning curve as it's stolen. It's Leo taking it and blowing it. How did he do that? Sleepless nights over that one. Good deal has it one more time. Good deal by himself, and they're going to disallow it. As there's a whistle, a foul away from the basketball. You gotta love Carlos Johnson, 35 years old, but he looks like he's ready to play. You know what he told me? Sometimes I just wanna put on the uniform myself <laughs> and get out there. Free throw good from Goodale, 36 seconds to go, and it's now a 10 point lead, 31 to 21. Don't miss Tiff, tiff at the half. And our crew is here. Jen is not here. The communications czar of the city of Lancaster. We miss her always because she finds a way to make a trip over to Tom's Burger and feed the crew. But Annabelle's here, Ryan's here, and Joe's right next to me here. High above this, 
sideline here. Looks like the eastern sideline. And they're going to do right now some floor maintenance right now, housekeeping, and get rid of any perspiration or wet spots out there. And somebody told me a little birdie that Annabelle made a trip over the Atlantic. She had a wonderful time in Ireland. Wow. So we're glad she made it back safely. And that she's got that Irish brogue going on. Killarney. All right, back to live action it is. 28 seconds to go here in the second quarter. 31-22, nine point lead. Making a move and what a beautiful one it was but couldn't finish that time. It's Lancaster Baptist and the rebound comes out and he is a stout young man, Jacob Schroeder. He is built, I mean, and a half. On the wing, doesn't want it. Quickly to Berrigan. Berrigan not a factor in this ball game and that one was air ball with four seconds to go. Can they get a final shot off? They're not gonna even allow that because we've got a timeout on the floor. Eric Lee called a 20-second timeout to set things up as the clock ran down. They got the rebound. It's at 1.8 seconds to go. We're going to keep it right here. Eric Lee, head coach of the Eagles, facing off against Carlos Johnson. The Eagles and Knights. One thing Coach Lee told me before the game, we need to establish a win streak. The loss to St. Monica and it was quite substantial. Even though Sammy Flores had 19 points on Tuesday night, they lost big to St. Monica, 80 to 39. That's painful. As for Desert Christian, they lost by 49 to Vasquez. Ouch. So here we go, 1.8 seconds to go. Let's see what Coach Lee is going to come out of his bag of tricks and plotting strategy right now. Here we go. Remember, once they touch it, the clock runs. Okay, Sammy, he wants a shot. Oh, he was butchered, hit hard. Will he get any free throws? I suspect he will. The buzzer went off, but he was manhandled out there. That's probably all that Coach Lee wanted. Did you know Coach Lee has a great basketball pedigree? I already mentioned he grew up in Norman, Oklahoma. Solid Sooner fan, but he won a state championship as a high school player for the whole state of Oklahoma in 2011. Well, he was brutalized out there, hit hard, so they're going to turn it into a technical. Time has run out here in the second quarter. Sammy Flores to the charity stripe. No good. 31-22, it remains the lead for Lancaster Baptist. He'll have another one. All right. And because the foul took place beyond the arc, it's rare as hen's teeth, but here it is. Three free throws. One of three makes him unhappy, but he was able to get his ninth point. And we're going into the locker room right now with a 32-22 lead, 10-point bulge for Lancaster Baptist. All right, we're going to send it down to Tiffany. She's going to have a great interview she's setting up with Carlos Johnson, head coach, of course, with Desert Christian, and uh, again, we say to one and all, Happy New Year, right here from your friends at L28. After, our, again, a brief break, and it looks like, oh, there she is. She's ready to, ready to put it together. Tiffany Johnson, Miss California. And the great international player, head coach of Desert Christian, Carlos Johnson, down there on the floor, take it away.
Coach Johnson, Happy New Year, first and foremost. We have something in common. We have the same last name, so I already like you to begin with. Uh, but for this season, it's been a trying time so far. So what was your tactic coming into today's game? Well, um, pretty much it was just playing hard. You know, we needed to be aggressive today. We understand that they like to be aggressive. So it was all about um, being more aggressive than then and um, um, executing plays and trying to get the W. And you shared with me earlier that you've played overseas. So what are some great traits from your professional world that you're able to share with these young players now? Um, I think it will be uh, repetition. Repetition is the key. You know, just being in the gym, putting the work every single day, um, and just do the same drills over and over again. Um, that's the key, repetition. That's even what I told a lot of people that I train because that's what I train people. Repetition is the key. So. Lastly, what are you going to say going into that locker room that you want your team to continue doing and you also want them to take away in the second half? Um, we got to we gotta play harder than them. Uh, we got to go and try to get more rebounds than they are. Uh, we understand they like to play um, physical basketball, so we have to be more physical. And, um, and you know, just, um, just breathe, relax, understand that, you know, you got a whole second half and, um, and trying to make some shots. Well, thank you, Coach. Good luck. You so Hope you get this W. You. Bye. Back to you, Ronnie.
everybody to the gymnasium on the campus of Desert Christian. I'm Ronnie Wald, along with Tiffany Johnson. Great interview she had at the half with Carlos Johnson. Now we want you to know that it's a 10-point lead right now for Lancaster Baptist over Desert Christian, and we were able to cobble together our rudimentary halftime stats to bring some perspective to the first half. So if you would indulge me, Sammy Flores, 11 points. John Leo, eight points. I'm talking about for Lancaster Baptist. Desert Christian, Adam Goodale chimed in with eight, and Jacob Schroeder, who we call the human condominium at nine. So we're ready for second half action. Joe, the cameraman, take him away. Hoorah. Ain't we having fun? Thank you, city of Lancaster, for keeping the broadcasters employed. All right, here we go, ready to go here. In this, the third period, 32-22, uh, as I noted, a 10-point bulge right now. Underneath, trying to take the first shot and trying to break the ice. Two misses underneath that time. The indignity of it all for the angular one, Ethan Cox. All right, uh, underneath that time, that's big John Helton. And Helton lost the basketball, so as a result, we've got ourselves it going back over to Lancaster Baptist as they're headed down the floor right now. And with it, that's gonna be one Sammy Flores. Flores leading all scorers with the 11. Terminate the dribble. Now, pass underneath, grabbing at that time, Ethan Cox. 21 on the timer, plenty of time, guys. Back over to Sammy. Sammy terminates the dribble. The runner is good! Well, Sammy fouled. He has that proclivity, the ability to draw the foul and get to the charity stripe. At the end of the first half, he found himself with three, count of three free throws, fouled on the attempted tray from 30 feet away. He only got one of three, but again, that shows how all the hands, just like... Uh, B to Honey, drawn to one Sammy Flores. The free throw is perfect as he knocks it down and it is a three point play, 34 to 23. Now Desert Christian comes back the other way. Now you see the intense pressure defense as they finally get it into the front court. Number three's got it, Josiah Berrigan. Berrigan with the shot, he's made it and he has a chance for the three point play. Like number three emblazoned on his uniform. And as a result, just starting things out, as you know, in the high school realm, the eight minute periods. And right now they find themselves down 35-22, trying to cut into it right now is again, one bear again, he knocks it down and it is 35-25. Flores making his move, kicks over the left side. One bounce dribble to one, throws it away. That is another act of thievery. Taking it right now by themselves and laying it up in beautifully that time was number 35, Jacob Schroeder. The young man is built six foot 180, but if they weighed him in water, there's no, again, fat on that body. He is really, again, a physical specimen, if you know what I mean. Ball knocked away, there was a foul. Two team fouls assessed right now on Desert Christian. Remember, there's five. Count them five fouls per period before we get into the penalty. Flores does honors. Gets it in just as quickly over there. Number 22, Averbeck. Averbeck holding it high that time. Flores now on the right side. Launches a tray. No, the put back good. Great positioning that time for Austin Yarborough. No doubt about it. 37-27. 6.21 to go here in the third. Ronnie Wald, your game broadcaster, high above this, again, southern sideline, now taking the rebound after the missed shot, and into the front court, it comes over to Flores. Flores has it, now hesitates the dribble, the shot on the left side, three-pointer, no, another foot back underneath, a great offensive carom, but he couldn't get that one to fall that time, Ethan Cox, as it comes back over Desert Christian. 5.51 to go. The runner underneath, no. Great effort from John Helton. They fight for it. Both teams laying it on the floor. These are teams at the bottom of the heritage, but they're playing tonight with enthusiasm, emotion, like it's a playoff game. And it, even though it is a 10-point lead 
right now for Lancaster Baptist. I really feel Desert Christian's going to, again, find a way to get back in this ball game. Here's the shot underneath that time. John Helton, he was fouled. It turned out that Helton committed the foul against Sammy Flores, so Flores, opportunity at the free throw line right now. Flores to the southern goal, and the free throw is good. I've got him with 13 unofficial points on ballgame, maybe 14. Let's give him the 14. And he's been hotter than a piston because he's averaging just what his number is emblazoned on the back of his uniform. He, for the last five games, he's averaging 20 a game. 5.35 to go, second one good. 15 in the ball game for Sammy. Moreover, that opens up the Lancaster Baptist lead. They're leading right now by 12 points, 39-27. Underneath, a player goes down hard. The shot missed underneath, and look at that, fighting for the basketball on the floor. There's no doubt there's a rivalry going on between these teams, Lancaster Baptist and Desert Christian. And you gotta love a bandbox type of, again, gymnasium like this one. The fans can almost reach out and touch the players, literally. It's really quite a place. Great vantage point for our L28 cameras. All right, they'll bring it in. Edwards brings it in. Top of the key, it goes over to Orso. Orso finds the big guy underneath. That's Schroeder. Schroeder runs into, that time, an eagle. Both end up on the floor. And in terms of team fouls, one team foul assessed on the visitors from Lancaster Baptist. Three on the home squad, Desert Christian. Number 25 be taken off, Brenton Edwards. On both teams, we covered their football a couple months ago, and so many of these young men, we didn't get a good look at them because they had the helmet and the padding on. We can see them now, including Edwards. Okay, working it right now, Josiah Berrigan. Now it's gonna be a three-point shot attempt off the mark that time. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it looked like the last one to touch it was a knight. All right, again, passing the timeline into the so-called attacking zone. Sammy Flores over the left side as it goes back up top just as quickly, working it on the wing. Number 22 that time, and loses the basketball, Michael Averbeck. So a great steal that time, they've got it. Desert Christian, they want the shot. 14-footer good! JB, Josiah Berrigan. Now they pulled within themselves 10 points, which was the, again, halftime score, a 10 point differential. And now they're gonna lose the basketball offensive violation call on Sammy Flores. 4.27 to go, everybody, in this, the third quarter. Hey, we've got some great folks watching all over the country. Arden Beverly Edwards is in Canyon Country. I just went through there last night. Stopped at the Yum Yum Donuts at 2 a.m. I could have stopped in and said hi to Harden Beverly. Oh, there's an act of thievery. Coast to coach Sammy Flores. And Jan and Yolanda Spencer there in Saugus. So glad to have you aboard. And now, see how the stands are literally right there next to the floor. A potentially, again, cumbersome situation as Edwards will take it out just right of our broadcast position. Also in Saugus, Gary and Christy Shirts. Thank you for your viewership. It means a lot to us. Okay, inbounds pass comes in just as quickly right now. Number 23, Adam Goodale. Goodale then finds underneath a player he doesn't want the shot. Bring it back up top to Berrigan. Berrigan's entry pass right through the buttery fingers that time of Jared Orso. But here's the big one. John and Heather Spencer, Sandy, Utah. Welcome aboard to L28. 
And you can leave your comments on Facebook. You can chat while we're on the air. We appreciate that. All right, with it, coming back the other way, moving right to left across your laptop, your tablet, your PC, whatever you have. And the long three-pointer was short that time. Sam, you handles the basketball 80% of the time, has it right now. Foot on the line, not quite beyond the arc, as it comes over one more time here to number 11, Ethan Hartanto. Back to Sammy. You know how he tried to force the issue and try to get to the free throw line, but they're going to call the traveling violation on him. The bunny hop. Harvey. All right, with it, 321 remaining here in the third. 41-29. Lancaster Baptist with the 12-point lead. Losing the handle that time. Desert Christian turnover assessed. Comes back over Sammy. Sammy tried to do too much one-on-one, -on -one and it ended up bouncing off of his foot out of bounds. And it will be night basketball here at the 311 mark of this, the third quarter. Edwards with the inbounds pass. And the 75 by 50 hunk of wood. He's got it right now. Oh, nobody underneath. Lay it up and in beautifully. Give the assist to Edwards, Austin Ashley, taking that entry pass and finishing. And with 2.53 remaining here in this the third quarter, it's down to 41-31. It's Lancaster Baptist with a 10-point bulge. Dribbling a bit that time with Lancaster. Number 11 with it, Ethan Hartanto. Hartanto tried to go up with it. The big guy knocked him down. Nowhere to go. Jacob Schroeder in the way. Comes back the other way. And up and in, Austin Ashley. Austin was fouled. He'll head to the free throw line right now to try to complete the three point play. 231 remaining here in the third. Don't you dare leave your laptop, your tablet, your iPhone, your Android in the very exciting fourth quarter coming up tonight in Lancaster. A great way to spend a Thursday night, would you say, in the high desert? 41-33, here it comes. Free throw, no. Somebody was pushing off or got in the lane too soon in the paint. Redemption that time. For Austin Ashley, he'll get another shot at it. Okay, quiet in the house. As quiet as a church mouse. He does get it. Now it's getting interesting. 229 remaining in this, the third quarter. 4134, everybody. I'm talking about Lancaster Baptist with a precarious lead. Oh, but answering back Tammy Flores. Points number 18 and 19 to lead all scorers in the ball game. 43-34. Under intense pressure. A great defense being perpetuated right now by Lancaster Baptist. And now they're going to lose the basketball. Turnover number 10 in the ball game for again this desert Christian team. And it looks like we've got a timeout. We're going to take it as well. 2.09 to go. 43-34, a barn burner, a nail biter. Tension so thick you can cut it with a knife and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone, from all over America, around the world, and our friends in Sandy, Utah. Great ball game. Lancaster Baptist, 43. And Desert Christian, 34. Both these teams trying to end long, laborious, agonizing, losing streaks. That's what's on the line tonight. Oh, I want to thank Cecilia 
head coach Lancaster Baptist, Eric Lee's wife, for getting us those stats. She's a nice lady. Now here's the shot. That shot was not so nice from Sammy Flores. It's woefully short from 22 feet away, and somebody pushing off underneath. We're going to send it out to Tiffany between the third and fourth period for a quick interview, a quick summation. Remember that t famous TV show, Mary Tyler Moore? Remember the theme? I think of Tiffany when I hear that first line from that show. She turns the world on with her smile. Tiff on the town. Tonight it's Tiff in the gym. But she can get it done as the free throw is no good that time on the part of Brenton. He wants this one. Not only tall and angular young man, but you cannot miss the headband. 154 to go. Here it comes. He gets it. The Brenton Woods agreement. Pretty good. Okay, 150 remaining here. 43, 35. Eight points. We're talking about, what, a three-possession ball game? And we're going into the fourth period. Under intense pressure. But here's the three-pointer. Won't be there that time. They get another offensive carom. It's helped them so much in this game. Austin Bach with it. Bach over to Sammy in the corner. No, that's not Sammy. Pardon me, that's Marcos De Paula Rosa. Remember him from the football? Wyatt Langley's on the bench. Remember the Langley brothers? A lot of players doing double duty on both these high schools in multiple sports. Polymorphic. Uh-oh. Taking it by himself. It's Sammy time. Give Sammy now points number 20 and 21. Oops, taking it by himself. Number 23, Adam Goodale. The shot, no. Going down hard with Berrigan. No harm, no foul. Into the front court, it comes. The shot, no. He wanted to draw the foul. That was his complete intent, and he did just that. Ethan Cox, the 6'2", 170 pound junior, trying to open up this Lancaster Baptist lead right now. They're back up by 10, which was, again, the number at the half, the score at the half. Lancaster Baptist, their last win was against Desert Christian. All the way back to last year. December 8th. Here's the free throw, good. Again, both teams, the essential factor at hand. They want to get on track. They want to start a winning streak. It's a free throw, good. Ethan's got another one coming for the Eagles. Free throw, no good. And somebody pushing off underneath in a highly volatile an emotional ball game tonight here in Lancaster, California. Lancaster Baptist now up by 11, 46-35. And they were out of fouls. They're both out of fouls. It's free throws here on in with the, at the 102 mark of this third period. Now the long, laborious walk down the 75 by 50 hunk of wood. Now towards, again, this goal. And the young man for Desert Christian won Austin Ashley. Free throw. No. 46 35. They've got size on this Desert Christian team. Berrigan, six. Helton, 6'3". Ashley, 6'1". Edward, 6'2". Knocks it down, 46-36. Inside one minute to go here in the third. Back and forth, he shakes and bakes. Instead, gives off just as quickly 
over there to Ethan Cox. Cox then to De Paula Rosa. Marcos, the first name, and a wild move in the paint. And as a result, they'll lose the basketball. It's going to go back right now over to the Knights. All right, here we go. Long lead pass over the head, and look at the frustration that time on the face of Austin Ashley. He threw a strike, but even Austin 6'1 couldn't reach that high up the ladder. Now, if he was throwing it to LeBron, different story. All right, 35 seconds ago, 46 36. Here's the shot. In and out, heartbreak. Deep into the cylinder, it came back out again. The indignity of it all. Now, number 10's got it. That's Brandon not. Brandon, 15 footer good. Grand did not. I've enjoyed his jellies and preserves at the Not Berry Farm, I tell you. And that was pretty sweet, that shot on his part. Okay, holding it high. So high it might bring rain. Instead, number 15's got it. The shot at the buzzer from Ethan Cox is no good. And everybody, hold your horses. It's going to be a bumpy ride as we head into the fourth period. Here's your score. Lancaster Baptist, 46. And, of course, Desert Christian, 38. We're going to send you down to Tiffany. She's got a great interview here between the periods. So take it away, Tiff. Lancaster going into the fourth. The Eagles are dominating 46 to 38. I don't know if it's to their playing style or if it's to their cheer squad in the stands. Boys, let's get loud. Come on. Last push, guys. Let's go, Eagles. Let's go, Knights. <laughs> We swing down to the fourth period of play. Welcome back, everyone. Ronnie Wald on a broadcast solo bid. Happy New Year, everyone. And now we celebrate 42 years with the uh, new year in Los Angeles, California sportscasting. And you see the enthusiasm from these young men, student athletes on the floor. You, uh, you can't help but to feed my broadcast. As Vince Scully said, he was inspired by the roar of the crowd. And here we've got another dandy of a ball game. Nice choice, Jen, who's not with us tonight, the communications czar of the city of Lancaster, but we're holding down the fort without you. And we're happy to report, don't you dare leave your laptop, your PC, your tablet for the next exciting eight minutes here. Six, actually eight point lead right now for Lancaster Baptist very much in reach for Desert Christian, which desperately wants a home win. Remember, overall, they're 1-11, 0-7 in the Heritage. They would love to get it tonight, but they're down by eight. Now Lancaster Baptist has the basketball. Remember, they're in the blue uniform. We're going to try to stay with it and show the excitement, but we can't help it. That was a two-pointer, and it was from Michael Averbeck. 49-38, one away from the half century mark. The shot was taken that time by Brenton Edwards, off the mark, fighting for the rebound, going down hard on his knees. He's A-OK, -okay. could have been worse on Michael Averbeck. There's a number of players out there, blue clad, white clad, 
that are leaving it on the floor tonight. There was a great San Diego Padre announcer. He had the great metaphor for it. I have to say for the players, hang a star on that one, baby. And on the, again, both teams tonight, it's fun to watch coming out of the break. Now with it, 7.14 to go. Number one's got it. Let's get John Leo. He may have traveled. He may have traveled. He did travel. John will not plead his case like a Philadelphia lawyer tonight here in Lancaster. He will not. He took his comeuppance as he comes into the front court. Of course, the very talented Brenton Edwards passing the timeline, shaking his head in the affirmative. The officials are explaining it to the scorer right now. If you joined us late, it was a 10-point lead at the half for Lancaster Baptist. They've maintained that as we begin here in the opening moments of the fourth quarter. Yes, the infraction was committed against Breton. To the free throw line he goes. Free throw. Good. I've got his mom, his dad, his sister all right next to me here. The tension is palpable. Here it comes. Oh, he got one of two. All right, 7.06 to go now, and they cut it down to a 10-point lead for Lancaster Baptist. Both teams desperately want to break out. Both teams want to, again, put a solid mark on this, the new year, if you know what I mean. 49-39 Lancaster Baptist doing honors. Just right of our broadcast position is Edwards right now. Winding up his career here. Brenton, senior. All right, here we go. Back to live action. Number 23's got it. Adam Goodale. Good deal quickly over to Berrigan. He wants a shot. 17-footer way long and just caught the corner of the rim. Back they come the other way. Number 15, Ethan Cox with it. Cox over to Sammy. Sammy makes his move. Are they going to disallow it? Yes, they will. That would have been points 22 and 23 for Sammy Flores. Instead, it's all for naught. Disallowed on the offensive violation. 6.44 on the clock. Brenton's got it. Makes his move. Brenton hangs on the rim ever so long. And with it, back over Flores. Flores takes it himself. Coast to coast, lays it up and in. Sammy, that was points 22 and 23 in the ball game to lead all scorers. Now he wants a tray of his own. In and out, back in. Yes, it was. Whew. It spun around like the tilt-a-whirl ride at the Antelope Valley Fair. Yeah. It always got me dizzy, that ride. That shot got me dizzy. All right, 6-11 to go, 51-42. As Lancaster Baptist has hit the half-century mark. Considering the low amount of scoring they had in the losses against St. Monica, this is a revelation for them, but it's thrown out of bounds into the waiting hands of Eric Lee. Did you know Eric Lee is the principal also? <laughs> yeah. They really work them over there, Lancaster Baptist. Principal slash basketball coach. Lay it up and in. JB. 5.47 to go, everybody. 51.44. Tension time here at the gymnasium on the campus of Desert Christian. Oh, it's going to be a traveling violation. There may be a future for Edwards in maybe as an official because he had the hand motion going on. Sometimes you do that with a zebra nearby and they're saying, hey, don't usurp our authority. Okay, long lead pass, comes over to jo Josiah. Josiah, he's red hot! He scored four in a row. It's very cold outside in the high desert, but Josiah's hotter than a piston. 51-46, the shot no good. Desert Christian has pulled within five. We've got a timeout on the floor. 
How does Jen pick these games? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to take a break as well. It's 5146. We'll be right back. It was a famous American general who once said, it is well that war is so terrible for it. We should go to Fondo. A mano a mano mini war going on tonight in Lancaster. There's no other way I can describe it, metaphor-wise. And we're so glad you're with us here on the 28 Now here's the skinny. Lancaster back to Sons of Basketball. 519 to go. Flores with 23 in the ballgame. Instead, here it is. Elliot Good! The entry pass and taking it appropriately enough. Ethan Hartonto making it 53 46. Seven point ball. Wanting the shot himself. In and out heartbreak. Deep in the cylinder for Ethan Cox. He couldn't get it. Again, the late Christmas gift. And now here is an opportunity underneath. A shot. Somebody knocked down. Foul committed. And basketball back right now to Desert oh, Christian Road right now. They find themselves with the seven-point deficit. Desperately, desperately needs a score right now. In the corner, Mr. Knott's got it. Oh, Mr. Knott oh, comes oh, with the basketball. A turnover at the most inopportune time. 53-46 it is. 4.44 to go. Taking the basketball zone, but he didn't want to eat the clock. Up top to Sammy. Sammy time, no. Entry pass. Oh, he threw it in a crowd. And taking it out of nowhere with Edwards. And the here comes Josiah. Josiah's red hot. Josiah's shot. He was fouled. Free throws coming from Berrigan. Don't you dare miss our End of game, post game show. Tiffany's taking over and she's going to have, again, interviews and perspective. But we've still got ourselves 427 to go in this one. JB, three so good. 427, and it translates right now in a very precarious, nebulous six point lead for Lancaster Baptist who's led the majority of this ballgame. Desert Christian will not give up the fight. As Custer said, where did all these Indians come from? 423 to go. The free throw is good. Point is at five. Point is at right. Doesn't matter. Point is down low. Taking it off the ground ball. Now back over the, the spoiler. That's Leo. No. Offensive Karen put back your goal. No. Your goal fouled. It was in the act of shooting. A couple free throws coming to Austin. Ball, number 10, Eagles, Six foot, 180 pounder from Lancaster. Not Dallas, not Houston, not San Antonio. Austin, Austin, you out there. Free throw, no good. 410 remaining, 53-48. Just get better and better. Free throw good. 54 48. Open it back up now. So a six point lead. Into the front court is Joe Sutton. There against the last one. He's a junior. Hands up football style, just like that. This is quickly a good deal. Good deal, the emotional one. Good deal's got it. He didn't want the shot. Back over Edwards. 14 footer. Oh! It hung around the rim. A very favorable trade breeze. Pushed it in. Hey, wait a minute, the wings are outside, not in here. Okay, he'll take it. 
take it. 54-50, shot no good from Lancaster Raptors. Here come back the Knights. Edwards working like a point guard right now. Good deal has got it. Uh-oh, the official getting involved. Whistle on the floor. It's a, every time I swivel, it starts loosening. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. yeah go to the the real quick. Um, I'm trying to end up right now. Adam, good deal. Fun to watch him play. He's not leaving 100% on the court. He's leaving in excess of that, 150%. Very so good. When they needed it okay, most, they I'm, could I'm depend on Adam. And th that's what I was talking about. Now it's 54-51. Uh, that's right. Uh, Three earlier, points. That's why I wanted to switch to that's the other, my, the other tripod. Who could that be? Hanging on precariously is Lancaster. Free throw. Good job. Two point throw. Yeah. 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 Yeah
here in Lancaster in the City League. So good luck to that. And he's good friends with Carlos Johnson, Desert Christian coach. And wouldn't they like to get a win tonight? 2.16 to go. Underneath. Knocked away. Sammy's got it in the corner. Found it down low. Knocked down one player. Then he threw the basketball inexplicably. Now they're all fighting for it. Bodies on the floor. Let's see who's going to wind up with it. Squirming on the floor that time was Josiah Berrigan. He was not going to give up the rock for any reason. Down on his gluteus maximus, he still was fighting for it every step of the way. Time out on the floor. We're going to keep it right here. We're going to keep it right here, but it's only a two-point lead. I'm afraid if we go away, we may, <laughs> we may not come back. No, we're right here, and... It's a time for both coaches, understandably, to try to get their teams on track, to try to end elongated losing streaks. It's a seven-game losing streak for Desert Christian, three for Lancaster Baptist. After speaking, of course, to Carlos Johnson, great international player, as we noted, he played on the junior national teams in El Salvador, Costa Rica for Panama. This guy has a lot of experience, including setting many great records at West Coast ba Baptist College. They're in good hands with him. He's very involved in, no doubt, principal slash basketball coach Eric Lee, with all his talents and ability, Lancaster Baptist is in good shape with him. Okay, we're ready to go. Edwards will be taking it out. 2.04 to go. The Knights are only down by two right now, trying to tie this ball game. He'll try it. Good deal. The three-pointer good. It did the high Don Nelson like. Again, bounce. Don Nelson, the legendary Boston Celtic. How did he make that go? Three-pointer. Guess who's ahead by one? Yeah, Desert Christian. Here's a three-pointer off the mark. Desert Christian has the basketball. I got to stand up for this one. Coast to coast, a shot no good from Goodale. Grabbed just as quickly by Berrigan. The turnaround, 15-footer, no good. 57-56, 1.26 to go. Both teams fighting it out. Another great L28 broadcast. I'm going hoarse. I slept in a barn last night, woke up with a colt on my chest. I still am hanging in there. 1.12 to go, 15 on the timer. Three-point country, good. Another tray. 1.06 to go. They're back up in this topsy-turvy game. Two-point lead, Lancaster Baptist. The shot underneath for JB, no, but he's fouled. If this game doesn't get you excited, check your pulse. You could be flatlining in the ER. Seek medical treatment. I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay so you can get through the final 58.5 seconds ago. And when we spoke to head coach Carlos Johnson, he said, our most inspirational player is JB. He's on the free throw line. Good! 59-58. No free throw more important this year for Josiah Berrigan. That ball has to feel like a medicine ball up there for him. Here it comes. No, one of two. 59-58, 57 seconds ago. And now... Lancaster Baptist in the front court. Flores with his 23 points once more. And he goes up for it. He's trying to draw the foul. He went down very hard. And it looks like he was fouled. Free throws coming for Sammy Flores. Five seven. 180 pound diminutive one. No, it was not in the act of shooting. Was not in the act of shooting. They'll be taking it out. They get a fresh 35 on the timer. Sammy's got it. The diminutive one. Hands off quickly. The shot taken by Ethan Cox. It was deflected, rejected. But they're going to call the foul just like that on Desert Christian. Possibly on Edwards. He, looked, he had that look of incredulity in his face. Now it's Ethan Cox's turn. The blue clad Lancaster Baptist team 
The Habs a precarious one point lead. Free throw, goes around good! Another one of those free throws that make you dizzy. Doesn't matter what it does above, just so it makes it through the netting, if you know what I mean. Now they've got themselves a two point lead. 45.8 seconds to go. Looking for a three point bulge. Ethan Cox. No, it hung on the rim. Oh, the put back. They crashed the boards but couldn't finish. Austin Yarborough coming out with it, out of nowhere. That's Adam Goodale. He attempts a shot, but there's a whistle before he can get that shot off. If I'm in trouble, if I'm in a switch, if I'm behind the eight ball, if I'm in a difficult situation, I want Adam Goodale near my side. This guy's a fighter. Uh-oh, light's starting to flicker here. The great athletic director, Rachel Edwards, is going to go check on it. Athletic director, <laughs> they wear many hats. They want to maintain and keep that good electricity going. Here in the last 40 seconds, free throw, but no good from Goodale. I know they always pay their light bill. I know that. But she went down to check it out and make sure it doesn't go off here. Good deal. Second opportunity with the score, 60 to 58. He blew both of them. Oh, the putback, no good. Another great rebound. Edwards, shot rejected. Edwards gets it back. 28 on the timer. Three-pointer, no good. Loose ball, loose ball. Grabbed by Flores. 60 to 58. 23 seconds ago, the shot clock has been put to bed. Betty by everybody. Flores trying to run out the clock, and he is fouled. Both teams out of fouls. Sammy will get an automatic two free throws. There's so much electricity in this jewel. So much kinetic energy. It drew from the lights, and they started to flicker in the gym. I know, that's a stretch, but... Sammy Flores, leading all scorers, averaging 20 a game over the last five-game period, 23 in this one. The two-point lead is held by Lancaster Baptist. For a moment in time, and a very short moment in time, a couple minutes ago, Lancaster, Desert Christian did catch up. They did get the lead, although very, very temporarily. Free throw good from Samuel. 61.58, 17.2 seconds to go. The band box. This ain't the Milan Opera House. You can hear the sounds here, the cacophonous sounds. Free throw good from Flores. Time out on the floor. Four point lead, Lancaster Baptist will break as well. You're watching L28. What a ball game. We'll be right back. We're back, everybody. Ronnie Wald, along with Tiffany Johnson, our very able crew, Ryan, Joe, and the gifted Annabelle, all bringing you the action tonight, not just in Lancaster on L28, but around the world. Now again, here's the skinny. 62.58 it is, four point lead. And with it, Desert Christian, 17 seconds to go. Okay, they're down by four, but it's a two possession ball game. Not shot, no good. Rebound grabbed by Sammy Flores. Seven seconds ago, they got to foul him in the backcourt. Sammy's headed to the free throw line. And Lancaster Baptist is feeling good as Sammy Flores is excessively cheering as Eric Lee is trying to negate that. But their fans are in attendance, but they're not at their home house. But he has been scintillating in this ballgame, a real spark plug, and looking for points number 24 and 25. 
Moreover, all we've got is 6.2 seconds to go. And again, Lancaster Baptist, the four-point lead. Free throw, good. 24 points in the ball game for Sammy Flores. Desert Christian played with the heart of a lion. Would not give up. Second one good, 64-58. Six seconds to go. This should be it. Hands-off policy. Three-point shot attempt, no. Rebound fought for, and the buzzer goes off, and this game is in the books. And what an exciting game it was. We're so proud to bring it to you on L28. Final score, Lancaster Baptist had the 10-point lead at the half and led for 99% of the game until just a couple minutes ago when, again, Desert Christian, the emperor of hope, getting the hopes of the fans up here at the gymnasium, thinking that they might be able to break through, but they couldn't. And they had that quick lead, and it was gone, dissipated. Ultimately, the win goes over to Lancaster Baptist, thanks to Sammy Flores, 24 points. They win it 64 to 58. We're going to send it down to Tiff, who's got everything and more in terms of a post-game show. So again, so long for now, and send it down to Tiffany. Oh, I see her right now. She's going for the interview. She's, she's doing her thing. She got Sammy Flores coming up, and that's a good choice. So let's get it down to Tiffany right now. And again, 64-58, Lancaster Baptist. Lancaster Baptist, Sammy Flores, my accredited MVP of tonight's game. First of all, Sammy, you are leading in your football team in rushing yards and passing yards. So now you're the MVP of basketball. What do you attest to your athleticism to? Well, I mean, I just got to give all the glory to God. You know, he's the one that gives me all this talent. And I mean, it all, should go, it all goes to him. And, uh, you know, I just work hard and just go 100% every time I can just to get better. I saw you a couple weeks ago at in and out We bumped into each other, yeah. and you were so eager to rush back to your teammates. Yeah. What do you really credit your chemistry with your teammates off and on the court to? Well, I think because it's kind of easier for us since we all go to the same church and we all kind of connect and bond together. So that's kind of a like a plus for us. But I mean, I love I love my guys. They basically my family, and I think our bond is pretty strong for our sports. I like to say that you have the Sammy swag, you like to pump everyone up, but you have this this like really great energy about you. You're very calm. You're really about making sure everyone knows I'm going to show them how I play. Yeah. So what are your goals for the rest of the season? Well, for the rest of the season, we're just going to take it one game at a time, you know, take one, one practice at a time and just try to get better every day that we can and try to get some more wins. All right, we got to hit them with the Sammy shush. Ready? Johnson. See you guys next time on L28 Sports.